5.30. Four astronauts are scheduled to blast off from Kennedy Space Center to the International Space Station tomorrow night. The joint SpaceX-NASA mission called Crew-1 will mark the start of regular crew rotation flights to the ISS using American-made commercial spacecraft. CBS4's Mark Strassman is there. Commander Michael Hopkins and his crew arrived in Florida by charter jet. They plan to depart tomorrow by rocket ship. We're starting this new era where we're going to rotate crews to the International Space Station from American soils with our commercial partners like SpaceX. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Their mission follows this summer's successful demonstration flight of Crew Dragon, SpaceX's new ship. America no longer needs the Russians to get to the space station. Crew Dragon will carry four astronauts, its first full flight. More astronauts means more science aboard the $100 billion orbiting lab. Astronauts Hopkins, Shannon Walker, and Soichi Noguchi of Japan are all spaceflight veterans. Pilot Victor Glover is the rookie. Every single bit of the mission. It'll be the first time I've been able to do that thing in space. Do not latch and the IMV is closed. Glover is 44. The former Navy pilot is the father of four girls. In the lab's 20 year history, he'll become the first black astronaut to stay for a long duration mission. Does that mean something to you? I will once I get there. I try not to think about that too much. I think it is important for our astronaut corps and the accomplishments of our agency to represent the beautiful variety in this country. And so it is important to have kids who look like me or look like I looked when I was younger uh, see someone that, that uh, they can relate to that way. The road to any launch is long and hard. COVID-19 made this one harder. That's why the crew named their spaceship Resilience. We felt like if the name of our vehicle could give a little hope, a little inspiration, put a smile on people's face, then that is definitely what we wanted to do and we felt like Resilience was the name that did that. For SpaceX and for NASA, this six month mission and this moment are what they've been aiming for all along. The start of regular scheduled crewed missions between Florida and the space station. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center.